He's returned to North Carolina. We'll tell you what's ahead for fugitive Indian Timothy Jacobs. And why are these people protesting a comedian's appearance? We'll tell you what's at issue here. I'm Rod Wood. And I'm Peggy Finnegan. These stories and much more just ahead tomorrow. Peggy? Rod, they call him Screaming Sam, but his humor has some people in central New York tonight screaming mad. I had a change of heart this evening because of the protest of those three wonderful gentlemen. Sam Kinison performing tonight here at the Landmark Theater in downtown Syracuse. But while people were laughing inside the theater, it was a much different atmosphere outside. Members of Syracuse's gay and lesbian community staging this protest. They say there isn't anything funny about jokes about gays and AIDS. It's just comedy, yes. But it's at the expense of thousands of people that are dying every day from AIDS. It's at their expense. It's not at the expense of Sam Kennison. Kinnison did not make himself available to us to respond to that protest. And now our top story. Happening tonight, the State Health Department lays it on. It's a waste of time. Just ahead on Channel 3 News, Nightcast screaming on stage and protesters outside here in Syracuse tonight. Sam Kennison is the reason. Onondaga County legislators believe they believe 250 dollars MTV. And now, Channel 3 News, Nightcast. Good evening. It's not very often you see people picketing somebody who came to Syracuse trying to make people laugh. But it happened tonight. Sam Kinison is the comedian, and a lot of people find his screaming style offensive. But that's not what bothers the picketers. These protesters, called Act Up Syracuse, say there's nothing funny about shock comedian Sam Kinison's jokes about gays and AIDS. So they marched in front of the landmark, handing out flyers. Trying to get their message across. If these people see that we're out here grieving, but we're out here fighting for a worthy cause to protect more people from dying from AIDS, then hopefully that'll have them wake up and smell the coffee. While Act Up Syracuse was protesting outside the Landmark Theater, Sam Kinison was inside getting ready for a show and not at all bothered. I'm sorry they don't have more of a sense of humor, especially since they're supposed to be gay. With his girlfriend and her sister at his side, Kinison told me tonight his line, quote, they say heterosexuals die of AIDS, name one, is sparking the protest. But he says that's not a joke. I don't make jokes of AIDS. I, I raise some questions about it that obviously are pretty mainstream point of view. Joke or not, Kinison's point of view seems to be in the majority here tonight. They, they offend me more than he offends me. Offensive or not, Kinison's performance tonight was a near sellout. Well, if you're interested in why Sam Kinison is attracting so much controversy, he's Bob Costas' guest tonight on Later, and that's at 1.30 right here on NBC. There is likely to be plenty of... He is one of... Comedy and controversy. The two went hand-in-hand hand tonight at Syracuse's Landmark Theater. We'd like him to think twice about coming out and saying the things that he says and realizing what kind of damage he is causing to people's lives. They marched tonight, angry at the appearance of comedian Sam Kinison, angry over his comments on women and blacks, angry about his stance toward AIDS and gays. Yeah, I'm a comedian. I'm talking about stuff that's going on and uh, that, I, that I feel like is a current event. And I think for a, a group that's supposed to be gay, it lacks a real sense of humor. But a spokesman for a local AIDS coalition known as ACT UP would rather see Kinnison hit the road and muzzle his message. Hope that he never comes here again. Hope some of the people that wasted their money by going in here realize that it's going towards causes which are really uncivilized. Members of a capacity crowd tonight thought differently. I don't really know what they're all talking about, but bigotry, you know, I just don't think that anything really is going on here is out, done out of anything but fun. I don't find him a bigot myself. I just think it's comedy. This group of local protesters earlier had sent Kinnison a message asking if he would do an AIDS benefit concert. His reply? But, I mean, to get a telegram like I got that says, why don't you give all the money you're working tonight to people with AIDS? Why would I do that? 
Okay. But <laughs> you know, I was just, yeah, here, find someone with AIDS and give them my money. You know, I mean, if I was going to do anything, I would donate to research and uh, something that would help all of us. When all was said and done tonight, Kinnison managed to turn an old saying upside down. Demonstrators were crying on the outside. On the inside, they were laughing. You know, I've got to admit, I've had a change of heart this evening because of the protest of those three wonderful gentlemen. While Kinnison is riding high now, life hasn't been all laughs lately. Security around him has been beefed up. His promoter says Kinnison has been the target of unsubstantiated death threats. Fireworks in Madison County Court tonight.